All right, so I'm standing here with uh, Maritium Talane, and uh, this is the final one, the very last fight of your career. Mm, yes, yeah, the final one. Mm, I never thought this day will come when I started boxing. Yeah, I was always uh, hear people talking that no, boxing, I mean, sports, not like boxing, sports as a general, it's a short career, but no, I, I didn't put that in my mind that one day will, this day will come for retirement. No, but no, but I think it's a time. No, it's a time now, yeah. You've been boxing for the most of your life. I mean, you you boxed, you you boxed more in your life than you haven't. So, I mean, that must be, uh, like a chapter's ending must be quite sad for you as well. Yeah, of course, but no, I think I'm proud of myself for boxing so many years. I started boxing when I was 18 years old. Now I'm like 40 years old. I think many people my sportsmen they retire at the age of 33 34 35 i think i've pushed that other five years to be 40 so i'm very proud of that yes a common theme in the last years of your career was like i'm an old man but i can still beat up all these guys and you did it i mean you were rbf reigning champion for many many years uh, now it's a non-title fight it's first non-title fight for a very long time oh yeah it's been a long time not fighting for the title every time when i fight there's a belt fighting for yeah no but yeah uh, Nothing I can do, like they, um, the envelope boxing promotions that going to stage my up and coming fight, they ask me if maybe they can get me, maybe APU or what, 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 I said, no, 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 no longer interested in titles, just want to do a final uh, fight just for non-title fight, no, yeah, because it will cost them for sanctioning fees, all this stuff, so I told them, no, 10 rounds is okay, non-title fight, yes. Also a belt, I mean, if you win a belt, then you're going to want to defend it, and it's going to be never-ending. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, that's what I thought first, that no, I don't need the belt, because if I, 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 I fight for the belt, I win it, so I have to vac defend it, or I vacate it before I retire. That will make me think twice, maybe I can make a festive one defense or what, but now I've made up my mind, no. It's the final uh, fight for me because I've got calls from many promoters. They said, No, Maruti, after this fight, no, no, you can still do it. I want to stage you. As, no, I told them that, No, guys, please wait for me. Let me fight first, then we can talk. But inside in my mind, I know that, No, I'm not going to. I will talk to them, but I'm not going to explain to them, No, 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 no. It's the end of my career now, no. Yeah. A nice way to sort of finish, you're going back home to fight uh, in front of your crowd, your people, and uh, you'll be fighting a guy from the Philippines. I mean, how much does it mean to you to finish your yeah, career there? It, it means a lot to me because I've, I didn't get a chance while I was the whole, still holding a big belt LPF to defend it at home. Mm, I think the problem was money and the promoters, they couldn't afford to stage a big fight like for the IPF. That's why all the time my manager, Colin Nathan, have to get me the fight overseas. No, but I think that was good because the money was much better. No, no complaints at all. But finally, I'm happy that I've started boxing at home in front of my home crowd. Now I'll finish boxing at home again in front of my home crowd. I'm very happy. And uh, so many people have called me, they said, no, we're coming, we're coming. I'm sure it's going to be a sold out event. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah. And nice having a Filipino fighter because Filipino fighters come forward. You know, you're not going to have to go chasing him like you did against Sonny Edwards. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think it will suit my style to fight him because I've watched his videos. No, he's such a promising young boy. Yeah, but for sure, I want to finish my career oof, with a bank. I want to put up a good performance to finish my career, yeah. I think it's gonna be comfortable for my style to fight him, yeah. What's been the, the highlight of your career? Because you've had a very long career, as you said, you've had a much longer career than most people. What's been like your, your top achievements? Uh, to be honest with you, brother, it's, n it's not been easy. It was an ups and downs. There were times that come that, no, I, think, I thought, no, let me just leave this thing of boxing and start a new life out of boxing. But due to the people whom they still supporting me now, who advised me, all the stuff, they, mm, they, I, I will say, they motivated me to continue boxing, yeah, till the end of the, my career now, you know, yeah. What are you going to do once uh, boxing's over? Yeah, I've got some connection with some businesses, I've already in some few businesses, but I won't say in public, you know. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I would like maybe in future, not now after I retire, I would like to be involved in boxing, you know. After I have a long career, I think uh, 
I can able to motivate the young stars, people in boxing, because I know everything what's going on in boxing. Yeah, but at the moment after this, now I'll continue with the life, um, working for my family, because I've got some few works I'm doing right now as uh, still boxing. Yeah, of course. Wow, so you, you'll still be a boxing supporter, you'll still come watch the events? Mm, yeah, yeah, but I think to, yeah, for sure, I'll still attend the, the events because boxing is my favorite sport. It's not like when I stop boxing, I have to stop, go watch boxing because I like to watch boxing as well. Yeah, I'll be, a support, I'll be supporting boxing all the time, I'll still attend events. You know, recently I've not been attending events, you know. I think, I don't know, <laughs> well, but now I will start attending more events here in Gauteng because even after I retire, I will still be here in Gauteng. Yeah, I will, still, I will still attend more events. Yeah. And how do you think your emotions are going to be on the night when the final bell rings, you get your hand raised and you know everything is said and done? Mm, yeah, for sure it's going to be emotionally, but I think uh, it's going to be a good thing as well. Yeah, because uh, you can't stay to this sport for too too long you know this sport is very dangerous i've seen so many guys now yo, when you see, they, they tell you that oh this one is a former boxer yeah it's not good yeah but i'm still lucky because i'm still 100 percent healthy i've made checkups like i did my brain scan all the stuff all the med i've did all the medicals to check my body no and i'm still 100 percent yeah I think you're 100% because no one wants to stand toe to toe with you. They're always on the back foot. They want to run away from you. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, they still, they don't want to fight toe to toe with me because they know it's where I'm strong fighting toe to toe. It's better for them to run away like you need. With that, like you see in my last fight, what Sunny Edwards did. I think he started me very, very well. Yeah, um, I also want to congratulate him, him again. Because after a long, long time since 2008, he's the one who able to defeat me. You know, yeah, yeah. And he's also he's also treated the belt really well. He's he's defended many times now already. So he's he's he's, he's a worthwhile opponent for you. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Mm, I'm happy for him. He defended already his title two times. Yeah, and to me on my side as well, it's not it's not like I was beaten by no no one. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense that no. I was a true champion until that young guy came and defeated me. Yeah, you are a true champion. You defended that belt many times. Uh, hopefully, one day you're going to get an induction in the Hall of Fame. We're going to have to wait and see as the time goes on. What's your message for the supporters that will come out and watch you fight? Uh, to all my supporters as a whole in South Africa and all over the world, to those who always support me because I'm well known all over the world, not like here in South Africa. I would like to thank them for supporting my whole career till now. To my last fight, please guys, come, come, all of you please come to support me again for my last fight. I will really appreciate if you come and watch it live at Peter Marisbeck City Hall. I will, I will, I will make you proud. Like. I want to go out of my with the bank, yeah. For sure, I'm gonna beat that young man, Diomel Tio Kors. Yeah. It's a beautiful message from Maruti Salana. You want to finish with a knockout? You want to beat him? Um, yeah. Mm, it's like it's my last fight. I'm gonna still stick to what I've been always doing to prepare for the fight. If knockout comes, it's a bonus. Right now, I'm preparing for full ten rounds like I always do. If the knockout comes, it's a bonus. So it will be. Better for me if it knockout comes, but I won't force it. If it comes, it comes. If it doesn't come, it doesn't come, then I'll win on points. Yeah. Right. And any uh, thank yous or shout outs, uh, lastly, from you, Maritzi? Mm, I would like to shout, shout out to all my sponsors who've been supporting me throughout my career. My former sponsors and my current sponsors, I really appreciate you guys. Without you, mm, I don't know where my career will be because. Even I was struggling to get fights, but you were still supporting me to do my, my, my boxing very well because you were giving me some money. You know, it's all about money in, in this life, you know. So I would like to thank you so much. And to my last sponsors, that's going to sponsor me. I will have new sponsors as well for my last fight that have never sponsored me before. So I really appreciate you guys for sponsoring me in my last fight. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Maritzi. All the best for your fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. <laughs>